Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, uh, with another anime talk. This is going to be on the Vix case again. You probably figured it out by just the title, or you're probably here because of the title. Uh, guys, I, I really want to kind of recap some of the, like, my thoughts, and I'm making two videos, uh, two short ones, just so you guys can uh, see some of my thoughts. I want to start the conversation in my channel. Uh, I already did so by posting a video yesterday in, in the afternoon. I went live with some friends, and we talked a little bit about... Vic's case, uh, I, I invited someone that had heard about it and someone who hadn't heard anything about it. Um, that way they, you know, they could form their own opinion as well from what we have, from, from what, what has been given to the fans. So I just want to recap a little bit on this video on, you know, what community stands in the wrong and what community stands in the right. Because I think overall, uh, it seemed like that was the... The conclusion we came with uh, at one point, uh, you know, is Kick Vic community uh, that that's including the the voice actors as well as as you know just the fans supporting them uh, or the community of I stand for Vic uh, that includes you know Vic but also everyone else who has stand up and supported him on Twitter, on YouTube, on blogs, you know, on a bunch of other. Uh, platforms, you know, who stands in the right, who stands in the wrong. Now, uh, b before I continue this video, I do want to see uh, one thing. Uh, if you are a victim of sexual harassment, if you are a victim of any type of harassment that, you know, that is going on in your life, um, and, and, and one, you have gone through this stuff, and by people saying or, or, or going against these victims, per se, uh, I don't think this I stand for Vic is going against you guys. I think they're just going for proof. Uh, and secondly, I do want to clarify uh, that if you if you are a victim and you haven't spoken up, by no means am I saying don't speak up. Please do, do speak up if you are a victim of sexual harassment, of any type of harassment, verbal, physical, uh, you know, it, it, just speak up, go to an authority, uh, do the right steps that you have to do. Uh, please don't fight fire with fire. Uh, don't take justice to your hands. Go and um, and go to a, to an authority that will help you with this situation. Now, uh, I, I I hope that's clear enough. I, I I do stand for victims, and and overall, I I do support. If you are a victim, you should be getting your help. Now. Uh, but the video today is the communities themselves, Kick Vic and I Stand for Vic. And I think, uh, I, I, I'll start with Kick Vic because they're the ones that started in the first place. You know, the video released and uh, the day the video of, of uh, Dragon Ball Super Brawly released, uh, Kick Vic was, became a hashtag in Twitter and a lot of people started saying they were harassed by, by Vic. And uh, a few days later, I believe, uh, some voice actors, I will name them in this video, but some voice actors came up and started saying, yeah, that they're, they're true, and they supported them, and etc. Days later, uh, Fundimation and Rooster Teeth, two companies that uh, hired Vic, fired Vic. They, they, first it was Rooster Teeth, the ones that do Ruby, and then uh, Funimation, the ones that dub... Uh, Dragon Ball and other stuff that he's worked for really uh, so they, they fired him they did, didn't give any details uh, I think on their end I'm kind of happy on their how, how they handled uh, him being fired how they posted it uh, what I'm not happy is with how Kick Vic uh, that community has created uh this kind of community, very, very sensitive community of if anyone voices their opinion that doesn't agree with what they are going for, then either people are being blocked or they're being harassed. Uh, now, again, like, like I said, yesterday I had a live video. Uh, we went for about an hour and a half. Uh, it's in my channel. You can watch that video if you guys want. But in the video, we had a chat, and I think... 90% of the people that were there were probably I stand for Vic people. Uh, we did have maybe one or two individuals that were kind of mocking Vic. And 
I can tell they weren't I stand for Vic people. Now, they didn't say they were kick Vic people, but, you know, they they weren't really helping the cause. They were just making fun of him. And, you know, at one point, uh, they made a question in, at, at, towards the end, and I said, you know what, I'm not going to answer it because that is... Doesn't seem like a, like a truthful question. Now I I could have me, uh, misunderstood the person that posted it, and, and, and by no means am I saying go harass him. But uh, it, it was just a weird question, and I I didn't want to answer it just because I thought that it it was kind of going against Vic. So uh, my experience from what I've read on Twitter, from what I've seen on YouTube and other stuff. The Kick Vic community, and, uh, and this includes uh, the VAs and, and then and then just the people, have been very defensive. Now, I, I completely understand when you are a victim of harassment, uh, of, of sexual harassment, of physical harassment, verbal harassment, it doesn't matter what it is, you get defensive. You know, it, it's especially when people are saying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. If it is true, I mean, I understand, you can get defensive. That's fine. My problem with that is that even though they attack the people from I Stand for Vic, a lot of the times and very often times, they don't do much back, much fighting back. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, I, I could not be reading the right tweet maybe, but it seems like the I Stand for Vic people are in a position where they don't fight back. And, you know, you cannot harass someone on Twitter because you've been harassed. That does not give you the right to harass someone else. Uh, that's why I started the video with, if you're being harassed, please don't take you know justice on with your own hands. Because most of the time when we take justice with our own hands, we want the person that made us suffer to suffer. I mean, we want him to to feel what we felt. We want him to 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 you know have the same feelings that we had. So when we do that. We go and attack people, and by doing so, we don't realize that we have become the person that we hated the most. Uh, and that is something that I, I, I think that they understand. Uh, I have seen some tweets uh, recently in the past maybe one or two days of people kind of bringing it back and saying, sorry, I was angry, so I tweeted this stuff out of anger. And... Okay, that makes you a bigger person. Yes, I, I I will say that. That's maybe the right thing to do at this point. Uh, now that, that you have attacked people and you have uh, told people that, you know, you're going to take them to the authorities or stuff like that, you know, that, I think, in a way, speaks good volumes to kick Vic people. They at least are accepting that they're wrong in this stance. Now, uh... I stand for Vic. You know, I, there's a lot of people there in, in that group. In, in fact, I I can almost say that three out of four people from the anime community, and maybe even more. I could be wrong. Maybe even more. This is just a random number that I'm coming up with. But if it feels like at least three out of four people from the anime community stand for Vic. Um, so because a lot of them are included there, uh, I have seen only good things about them. But I don't want to say that everyone in this group is good because. I do, for a fact, know that people can be very, very, very defensive of their, uh, you know, idol. We can put it like that because they can can become an idol for them. So to defend him, they can do long measures of attacking someone. Uh, now, I think, although I, I I do believe that there's a small group or, or at least a group of people in I Stand for Vic that are being uh, have been being offensive maybe at, at one point. Uh, I do think that a, a bigger portion of it has been respectful about it. And, and really the, the message they've been trying to send out is we want proof. We want a good reason. Uh, and let's put it in perspective of Funimation. Funimation released just a statement that they were not going to work. Actually, I don't even think they used the word fired. They were just not going to work with Vic anymore. Uh, if... That would have been just the end of it. I think some people, or at least a big portion of this community, would have been okay with it. I wouldn't say a group of people wouldn't, you know, go berserk and ask Funimation why it's not working with you guys anymore. You know, I'm pretty sure there would still be a group asking why, but because prior to Funimation and Rooster Teeth releasing these statements, 
we had the voice actors, we had uh, people that worked with Vic uh, throwing allegations, throwing uh, tweets that could be offensive to someone, uh, releasing a lot of information that, in my point of view, should have been private, should have been kept closed in the investigation. Uh, that was very poorly managing, I think, of the two companies. Now, uh, I will talk, I, I will have another video tomorrow that I'll be releasing about the companies uh, and what I think about the companies. Uh, so I do have more thoughts about them as well. But as of right now, Kick Vic and I stand for Vic. You know, I, I understand both views. Kick Vic is really, uh, you know, at, at least the core of it is really defending victims of harassment. Am I against that? No. I'm not against that. I, I completely support people that uh, are trying to get help. I completely support people that need the help and that are going through the right uh, steps to gain that help. You know, and, and there's it, it's it's a long process. You know, it, it is a long process uh, because even when even when justice has been served. Uh, the person still needs to get some psychological help, some you know, some other stuff, because yeah, some anger bursts can come out, and that can become to harassment to someone else, and they can become the person they hate the most. So I completely support the core of the belief of Kick Vic uh, going against people that are harassing people. Completely agree with that. Uh, I I do stand for that. But on the other hand. Uh, I also stand with I stand for Vic because I stand for Vic, the core at least, uh, I, and, and, and when I say core, there's other beliefs going around the core, obviously, but the core belief of I stand for Vic is, you know, we're accusing people, and there has been cases, there has been cases before in the U.S. where people are arrested or their, their careers are destroyed, their names are destroyed in their industries because allegations come up saying that they were harassed. And they end up being false years later, uh, and these persons lose everything. You know, they 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 lose everything. And and I do stand for that. That the 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 companies should have had a justice system, a a a, a, a you know some type of investigation outside of their company, uh, because this is affecting uh, Vic's career. And you know, it's not something. It's not a one-year career. He's been working in this industry for more than 20 years. He's a veteran. He is someone that people love. Uh, people in his videos in Funimation are are tagging I Stand for Vic. You know, I see that hashtag more than anything on videos right now on, in Funimation. So it, it just shows that he is loved and people just want justice. If he is guilty, great. Let a judge decide. Don't let a victim or a group of people in Funimation decide if he is guilty for this. And if you don't want him in, his, in your company, that's fine. Kick him out. But don't destroy his career. So overall, uh, I believe in both core beliefs. I don't think uh, Kick Vic's community has done the right thing. Uh, they have definitely become the people they have gone against. They obviously went first against a harasser, and they, not all, a group of people have become harassers themselves. Uh, I stand for Vic, on the other hand, at least from what I've seen and what they've been in my channel and in my YouTube live videos, they've been very respectful. They've been very uh, wanting justice, wanting proof. And even when I say comments that maybe don't agree, uh, or don't go with what they believe, they don't insult me. So, you know, from the two, who is who is better? I'm going to let you guys decide that in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you think about this case. I will have an another video tomorrow talking about uh, what I think about the two companies and what they should really be doing. Uh, and actually, not just two companies, but other companies that are also being involved uh, with this. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and uh, give a like and a share if you guys don't mind. Thank you so much. And like always, don't be strangers.